हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू पवन परीज पेट स्टॉप एंड to an exciting new video on badminton and as the title says today we are going to compare the Yonex Nano Flare Line 33i and the Yonex Air Strokes Line 27i well we know that both these rackets are one of the top selling and the hot selling rackets today and probably one of the most popular and most browsed as of now well both the rackets have their goods and bads but where one could be faster the other one can be more powerful but these are some features and characteristics which we are going to discuss in the video ahead but before that let us move on to the key features and specifications of both the rackets and if there's anything you like about the video don't forget to like subscribe share comment and hit the bell icon however if you are interested in their individual reviews you'll find the links one after the other somewhere here which you can go ahead and check to begin with Yonex Astrox 27i Lite frame shaft made of high modulus graphite nano mesh neo to give that durability to the frame and the shaft 675 mm is the length flexibility is flexible uh, 5u g4 that is 78 grams plus minus 2 grams without the strings and the basic grip and if we talk about the balance point it is 300 mm towards the head which means it is head heavy and this is something which we are going to discuss further in the video to begin with the yonix nano 33 i light frame shaft made of high modulus graphite uh, the flexibility is flexible 670 millimeters is the length which is 5 millimeters lesser than the 27 uh, 5 ug4 78 grams plus minus 2 grams without the strings and the basic grip well, the string tension is 30 lbs to the max which is similar on the astrox 27i which i forgot to mention earlier make of this racket is made in taiwan uh, price starts from 2300 rupees online and offline and I'll share the links and if we talk about the balance point uh, it is 305 millimeters towards the head which is head heavy and this is something uh, which probably I think is the major comparison point between these two rackets well by now uh, looking at the key features you would understand major similarities in the rackets but the other ones that are like uh, the slim shaft on both the rackets um, 77.1 millimeters isometric head uh, aero box frame then both the rackets uh, fall in the intermediate category and uh, there are a few other differences now which we are going to talk about which are more integral uh, for this video which are weight uh, the length and the balance point so to begin with the weight uh, you can clearly see that 33i is around 84 grams and uh, the 27i is 86 grams which actually shows a 2 gram difference and uh, you know if you add on grips it depends what sort of grip you add so, so the difference can uh, differentiate but uh, we'll just consider uh, them as they are being uh, sent by Yonex. So uh, if we talk about the length we know that uh, this one is 5 millimeters uh, smaller than the 27i this racket is smaller and lighter we know that the racket is definitely going to be faster and more accurate and especially uh, those games around the net are going to be more accurate than the other one but on the other hand we know that two grams five millimeters is not a big thing but when precision is required there could be more power in the 27i and because uh, you have two grams more on that then the stability towards the center court and uh, towards the third line can be little more now uh, if we talk about the balance point uh, the 33i has a 305 millimeters towards the head and the 27i has a 300 millimeters see now uh, we know that this is five millimeters shorter so what they've done is that they've actually compensated that five millimeters into the head where uh, the balance point has increased which definitely see anything that is uh, 300 millimeters or above 300 millimeters as a balance point for a head heavy racket it is definitely a plus point now talking about uh, the performance of both the rackets uh, near the court and towards the mid court i would say they were very much similar near uh, the net the tosses were very okay. much close and accurate as you can see in these videos like well if you talk about uh, the overall performance of both the rackets see uh, both the rackets belong to the 5u category uh, and we know that the 5u category is a lighter category so if you're getting a racket which is uh, heavier than the other one uh, longer than the other one 
then it definitely adds on to the power performance and you get a better lever system you know a better steeper angle to your strokes on the other hand the 33i is lighter faster quicker in the air and has a better game close to the net however the 27i is not bad either because its length okay. and weight adds on to the stability to its game well if we talk about uh, the third line clears on both the rackets uh, the 27i has an edge over the 33i and has better clearance however if, you know you can definitely churn out some good smashes from 33i you know if you have the right power and the effort so it is now time for the final verdict and to decide who should opt for which racket so if you are a player who is looking for an all-round racket which has a better performance at the back court at the center court and a decent net performance which also serves for your singles as well as doubles game then 27i uh, should be the choice for you however the 33i is uh, my feeling is that it is more of a doubles player however you can have those occasional singles game but if you are more of a doubles player then 33i should be your choice as far as the strings are concerned both the rackets have similar string tensions so you can try almost any entry level or intermediate level strings so friends uh, that was my experience with both these rackets and i'm sure you have your own experiences and uh, uh, many of you uh, would definitely agree some would disagree so if you have any sort of uh, comments to share in well, until then, stay safe, stay healthy, watch healthy videos, stay away from Corona, mask up yourself if you can, vaccinate also if you can, and until then, have a great day.